What is good, YouTube Queen Way Basketball Analysis? Coming to y'all with a quick video. I had a quick thought that I wanted to know y'all opinion on, and I wanted to know the new people that check out my videos and checked out this video. Let's just have a discussion and just a what if scenario um, about the Thunder. You know, growing up, you know, we all was fans of KD, Russell, James Harden, because they was young, they was fearless, they was cutting up the league, they made it to the NBA Finals, they was dominating, they was on the rise coming from a rebuilding team to a team that's here. And, you know, having KD average 30 in the Finals against LeBron James was huge, especially because he shot 50% from the field. Not only that, you know, it gave some spotlight for Russell and James Harden. Did they utilize it well? No. But, you know, we're going based off now. And I want to go back to a trade that happened, which was a trade that we all think about. We all wonder. We all speculate. We all guesstimate. And it's a fun topic. And we're going to talk about the James Harden trade, a trade that the fans and the people of the NBA would never let down just because we wanted to see OKC stay together. Surge, KD, Russ, Reggie Jackson off the bench, you know, and Kevin Durant. And we still kind of punish for it because we still I still see a lot of videos about this. But I wanted to take a different look at it and wonder if James Hart, if he would have stayed with the Thunder, what would have happened? But the difference I'm going to make is Lou Williams is, for example, he was a player that a lot of people thought was good this season. He was the reason why um, DeAndre Jordan and Austin Rivers played better because he took pressure off them. He was he is he's a shot maker. He's a shot creator. He was able to win six man of the year. And that's the same thing that James Harden did. James Harden came off the bench, gave you 16 points a game and he became a six man of the year. He couldn't get off the starting. He couldn't get the starting spot uh, over Thabu Sifalosha because he was a better fit because he was a defender. But he wasn't a two way player. James Harden was a solid to good defender at that time. Not an elite defender, not a great defender, but he also was a good ball handler and a guy that can score in the pick and roll and shoot the three when he needed to and get to the paint and create shots for players or create shots for himself and get to the free throw line. He was a basically a great scorer coming into the NBA from college and high school, and he has become one of the best scorers in the league so far. And he averaged 29 the last two seasons. And now he is the best scorer this season, averaging 30 points a game this season. And, it, and there's only a couple games left. And it looks like he will be a scoring champion. When you think about scores, we didn't think James Harden would be averaging 30 points a game. We did not think that James Harden will win 60 wins, 60 wins in a season. Not only that, with a league with Curry. Durant on the same team, LeBron in the lead, the Spurs in the lead, and they're in the Western Conference, the toughest conference in the lead, that James Harden will be leading the whole NBA in wins. They clinched the number one seed in the playoffs, which means they're the number one team for the NBA, no doubt. And seeing all these things, becoming a potential MVP, becoming a scoring champion, becoming all NBA first team, um, with a plethora of guards in the league and on top of that you gotta you gotta put it in consideration he went to the western conference finals as the best player on a team and he has been able to lead a team to a team i mean he was able to lead a team to a huge record where even golden state with steph clay and dre in durant has not even been able to challenge them really all season for that number one spot. Yes, they took it over for a little bit of games, but Houston has been the number one seed for the majority of the season, and now they're the number one seed for the entire league for the rest of the season. And we never seen James Harden becoming that, a 30-point scorer and a player that can lead them. Even the Houston fans didn't see it. They was excited because they thought they got a good player, but the way his career is going, he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. And the reason why I bring up all these things that he has done as a team success, as well as scoring success, as well as being potentially the MVP of the season with Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kupo, Car Anthony Towns, and LeBron James. And you can name a, a lot of players that, you know, could potentially win MVP. And James Harden has been able to outplay all of them for majority of this season. And the reason why I bring that up is because if you look at the scoring leaders this season, 
and you see a player like I name and Lou Williams, he's shooting 43% from the field, which is okay. 36% from three, which is about where you want to be or higher. 87% from the free throw line. And he's giving you 22.7 points per game. And he is, he's not going to make an all NBA team. And he's not going to, he, he hasn't, he's not an all star and he's not going to make all NBA team, honestly. And you think about that and you go back and wonder if James Harden would have stayed in OKC, would he made an all star team? Looking at Lou Williams' numbers and looking at that he won't even be an all NBA player. And considering that James Harden, when he was, in OKC, he never even came close to averaging 20 points a game. The closest he got was 16.8, and he was super efficient that year, but he was not an all-star or all-NBA player playing with, you know, he won six men of the year, but playing with that team, he was never able to elevate and become a superstar. He was never able, able to elevate and become the man, and I think he never will because a lot of people still say Kevin Durant is the second or first or the third best player in the NBA, and that means James Harden is beneath him. Even though James Harden's been in the MVP conversation for the last two, three seasons, maybe four seasons if you want to take it that far back, and he has become the MVP, people still put Kevin Durant ahead, ahead of him um, when they talk about the best players in the league. So that means he might not, even if he would have developed into a Lou Williams, he still might not get as as much acclaim and recognition as a guy like Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. And even if he do, he would be kind of like the Atlanta Hawks or the Boston Celtics. They The, the only way he could have been an all-star was that he would have to literally help them get to a 65, 60, well, 57 to 65 win season. And they have to be on that pace. And the only reason why I say that Usually when a team wins a lot and dominate the league, just like the Rockets are now, you usually have a chance, just like the Warriors, to have multiple All-Stars on your team. And that's crazy that he never made an All-Star team, even though he had great efficiency in good numbers. He got rewarded with the sixth man of the year, but he didn't get the huge awards that you would think that he won. But we will never know because after that season, they went to the finals and he got traded before the season started. And that hurted us because we wanted to see can they win a championship. We wanted to see KD and Russ win a championship together, but it didn't happen. But just think about that. Looking at Lou Williams, a guy that came off the bench helping the team have a playoff record still to this day, a team that's above 500, and he's not even going to make an all-star team or an all-NBA team, that, that, that makes you think, would James Harden have a Hall of Fame career? Would James Harden be an all-NBA player? Would James Harden be a scoring champion and MVP? And the answer is he might have won championships with that Thunder team, but he would never be the legend that he is. Could he get? Could he be a, a Hall of Famer? Maybe if he continued to put up solid numbers and have a long, healthy career, maybe down the road playing with OKC, you know, accumulating points and accumulating small awards and maybe becoming an all-star if they take over the lead like we projected that season, you know, maybe he becomes an all-star averaging 16, 17 points on the 50, I mean, a 57 to 60 win team. That's the only way I could see him doing those accolades, but I still wouldn't see him being an all NBA player, but you can say, hey, look at Draymond Green. He's a fourth option and he's still making the all NBA teams. He's still making the all star teams. And I agree, but he, he, he also is a product of that system right now. And James Harden getting traded to the Rockets, we all hated that it happened. But at the same time, he has proven to be a superstar in this league. He has proven to be a closer. He has made it to the Western Conference Finals. He has been able to get the number one seed in the West. He has been able to be a scoring champion and potential MVP, multiple-time All-NBA, and he's going to make an All-NBA first team this season too, giving him, I think, six, five or six in a row. And that's not including the third team. So this has been a huge benefit to Russell, who averaged 31 points a game when KD and James Harden left. It allowed him to get multiple scoring championships because KD got injured in last season. And it also has made him into an MVP. And he's getting more recognition. He was already going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. But now if Russ can lead a team to a championship like KD had did, and maybe James Harden can this season, you know, it will make Russ, you know, get more credit. It will make him get more praise. Not only that, 
you know, it, it will make his case as being one of the best players that ever played the game, which he's on pace to do if he can continue this run with the Thunder. And same with James Harden getting traded to Houston has bolstered his um, ability to make it as a first ballot Hall of Famer, which should, which should be questioned because a guy like Chris Webber is struggling to make it to the Hall of Fame. And he was the best player on his team. And he also was a role player at certain times as the second best player on the teams. So, you know, maybe he get good enough to make make it to the Hall of Fame, but he might not be first ballot. But the, the stats and the resume that he's pulling together now is only helping James Harden case as a first ballot Hall of Famer. I know we got a lot more basketball to be played and a lot more things to happen, a lot of more a lot more resume things he can do because he's not even 30 yet. And the things that he has done has been amazing. But if you look back at it, what do you guys think? Looking at Lou Williams and, and seeing what he has done and helped him get a playoff record and get him back into the playoffs at one point, and he's going to go home probably just with a six-man of the year like James Harden, you know, do you think James Harden would have been the Hall of Famer standing on the Thunder? Do you think he could have, you know, emerged with Russell and KD, who are both ball-dominant players to a certain extent, because KD really not, but he can make plays, and he likes to score in isolation a lot, just like Russell. You know, having all three of them, would the ball get too cloggy? Would they be able to, to pay all these players, including Serge? Would they be able to coexist? Because remember, they did great against San Antonio, but really struggled against the Miami Heat. So... Would they be able to win a championship? Would they be able to dominate the league? We will never know these questions. But one thing I can say is as, as, as everybody, Reggie Jackson made it to the playoffs. As, he got paid and he made it to the playoffs. Serge Ibaka is on the number one seed, Toronto Raptors. Um, and then you got KD with the, the Warriors as a champion and finals MVP in the MVP without James Harden. And Russell missed majority of that season. He was able to get his first MVP, first and only MVP. And then you got Russell having success too. Is this the best case scenario or would you rather see them take pay cuts to stay together and try to win championships together instead of being like KD winning one without them? And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But just remember, Draymond Green has been an all-star. Lou Williams has not. And you also got to think about it. Kyle Korver was an all-star, but he wasn't in the West. He was in the East. And it's a lot more difficult when you have guards like Klay Thompson that came up. And then you have other guards in the league that came up. Even like a guy like Mike Conley, a guy that been the man and the best player on the team last year as a guard, still did not make an all-NBA or even an all-star team that let you kind of think in the west can james harden have the type of resume that he has and team success that he has as a solo person will he be a first ballot hall of famer as a third or fourth option on that thunder team because Serge Ibaka was getting buckets that year too and he was a two-way player so let me know what you guys think about james harden career let me know what you guys think about okc and let me know what you guys think should lou williams be an all nba player should he have been an all-star because when you look at his career and compare it to james harden it looks kind of like, you know, James Harden may not even be a Hall of Famer if he would have stayed with the Thunder. That's a sacrifice. And the same thing happening with Kevin Love. He's getting the All Star, uh, All Star games, but he's not getting the All NBA even though he had injuries. And he also hasn't been considered as a Hall of Famer yet. Maybe in the future if he can continue to put up numbers and stay healthy a little bit better. But you know, being that third or fourth option, you you get less numbers, you get less accolades. But you know. Now that he got traded, he's has been the guy. And now all the accolades and fame is coming with him, even the commercials. And check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description in the comment section below. Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section.